Okay, what we're going to have a look here is we're going to use GeoGebra and we're going to use GeoGebra to construct an ellipse. Now, GeoGebra has a function here that will allow me to create an ellipse, two foci, and then I can simply choose my ellipse. The problem with this is it doesn't quite tell me what the properties of an ellipse are. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about properties of an ellipse, which are if I've got the two foci. One of the rather nice things about an ellipse is if I take a point somewhere on the ellipse and I look at the distances to the two foci, say 3 and 7, and add them up and get a total, and then move on to another point on the ellipse and have a look at the distances once again. What I will always notice about the points, 5 will go with 5, Two will go with eight, and as I move round my ellipse, it's a very shaky looking ellipse. I will always notice that the distances will always total ten. So, using that idea, let's go back to GeoGebra, and rather than use the ellipse function, I'm going to try and start from scratch and make an ellipse. So, two points. There we go. A and B. They're my foci. I'm going to put a slider on the screen and let's call this the distance. And that's going to be my total distance when I add those distances to the foci. I'll go 0 to 10, I might want to change that a little bit later. Um, and to start with, let me say that I want to find points that are distance A to point and B to point, total 10. I'm going to put a second slider on and this one is going to be my distance to point A. And since I don't need negatives, I will set that at zero. We go to 10, which should be plenty. Put that on the screen. And to find this distance from point A, I know that I will be on a circle. So let me draw a circle, point A, and the distance from point A will be A. OK. Now I need to find the point on this circle that will be the distance that will make up my grand total of 10, which in this case will be 5.2. So I'm going to draw a second circle. This time I'm going to centre it on B, but rather than any particular radius, I shall choose my total distance minus the A distance from A that I've already got. And that hopefully will give me a intersection point. That will be the correct distance from A and B. Let me just mark that point. Intersection, intersection, there's two of them and just to check that it is my distance of 10 in total from the two foci, I'll put two segments on. There we go, and what I will now do using object properties, I will just have a look. Segments, if I show a value on those segments on my label, that would be good. Perhaps if I colour them a little bit thicker than they are at the moment so I can see them well. And my circles, well, actually my circles, I think what I'll do is I'll just let them fade a little bit into the background. Uh, points. Points. I think I'll not bother showing their labels. I'll just see my points and facts. Let me have another quick look. I think for my points C and D, I'll just make those a little bit more prominent, change their colours, their styles. And here we have it. So I have my circles 4.8, 5.2, grand total of 10. 
Now as one circle increases, the other decreases, but what I should notice is that the distances keep at 10. So what I am finding here is I'm finding all the points, hopefully, that are on an ellipse. My final task here, object properties once again, my two points C and D, what I will do is I will show a trace. If I do this, hopefully what I will see is I will see the points of my ellipse marking themselves out as I travel around. And there we go, that is the rather neat way I might want to try and construct an ellipse knowing the properties. 6 and 4 distance from the foci will remain constant. Of course I could always change things around if I want a slightly different ellipse, move the foci apart and then have a quick look, see what happens there, and you'll notice we'll get an ellipse, but slightly different. Still a distance of 10 total from the foci. Foci different width apart, different style of an ellipse. There we go. The conics and an ellipse and their property that the distance from the foci will remain a constant.